In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean up the messages in your inbox. And my suggestion is that you either have your inbox open as you watch the video and hit pause while you complete the steps that I show you, or using a mobile device like a tablet or a cell phone, you can pull up this video on that device and pause while you complete the task on your computer. First and foremost, email needs to be organized so that you can work efficiently and not miss information that's sent to you. When you think about it, email is the primary means of communication for all things work-related. You have a task by administrators and peers, parents will communicate over email, high school students communi communicate over email, and if your email is disorganized, then you can miss vital information. Have you ever sworn that you didn't get an email only to later find that it was pushed back to page two of the thousands of emails in your inbox? Generally, the emails that are listed on the first page are what you see and are on your radar. If you never archive, file, or organize any of these messages, things that are important can get pushed back to the second or third or 50th page where you're more likely not to remember them. You can think of your email like your house. If you threw everything you owned in your living room when you were done with it, you would never be able to find the important things that you needed. Instead of living like this, we have certain places that we put items in our house. Dishes go in the cabinets, tools in the garage, and clothes in closets. Our email organization should be similar. You should have folders for students, folders for administrators, and folders for technology. That way, when you need to find something, you can easily locate it. The first step to take when cleaning up your inbox is to come to terms with how many messages are truly there. The first step to take when cleaning up your inbox is to come to terms with how many messages are truly in your inbox. Over on the far left, there is a number in bold next to inbox. This is the number of unread messages that are currently in your inbox. This is not the total number of messages in your inbox. This is just the number of messages you have never opened. This number should be low. It's a risky practice to assume that you know what is in an email just by looking at the title. If the title of an email has to serve as a reminder, there are ways to label the message more efficiently than leaving it unread. This is your inbox counter. If this number is more than 50, it is too many. By default, your email will display 50 messages on a page. If messages are getting pushed to the second page, you are more likely to miss something. Our goal with this video and this cleanup is to get this number down to 40. If you have hundreds or thousands of messages in your inbox, don't be frightened. Within a relatively short amount of time, you can get them out of your inbox. And also, don't worry that you have to delete messages. You can move items out of your inbox without ever deleting a thing. The first step in cleaning up your inbox is to get a piece of paper and a pen. That's right, this first step doesn't have anything to do with technology. I'll wait right here while you get that. On that piece of paper, write down a date that is approximately three months before today's date. And write it down in this format. The four-digit year, the two-digit month, and the two-digit day. For example, 2014 slash 03 slash 01. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a search in our inbox for all messages before this date. So messages prior to three months before today. And this is how we're going to get them. We're going to go to the top search bar in your email inbox and we're going to type in in colon inbox space before colon 2014 slash 03 slash 01. Now, 
you won't necessarily type in this date. I'm just using that as an example. You will type in the date the way that you wrote it down on your sheet of paper. The format of the date is very important. Don't change the format from year, year, month, month, day, day, or the search won't work. You want to do the three month search because most likely if it's that old, you don't need it to be in your inbox. If you were given a task over three months ago and you haven't done it by now, then somebody's going to either send it to you again or get after you in a different way. And again, don't worry. We aren't going to be deleting anything. It'll be moved to an archive status. If we're going along with that email and house analogy, then we'll be taking all the junk out of your living room and putting it into your basement. It can sit there for all time and you can search for it whenever you want. So with this search, when you hit enter, you will see all messages that are in your inbox before this date. So once our search is done, we're going to select all of these messages and we're going to archive them. So I'm going to click this button up here on the top left that says select. And it's going to select all of the pages or all of the emails on this page. Now, it shows me that 20 conversations are selected. But we want to come over here and click Select All Conversations That Match This Search. Now they are all selected. So every single message that's in my inbox before March 1st of 2014 has been selected with this one simple search. Now I'm going to come over here and click Archive. And just to be clear, this is the archive button and this is the delete button. The delete button will move all of the items to the trash where they will be permanently deleted after 30 days. That is not what we want to do. Google gives you 30 gigabits of storage. You are not going to even come close to filling that up. You never have to delete a message in your entire life. But we are going to archive them to get them out of our inbox. In a later video, I'll show you how to label all the messages that go to your all mail after you archive them so that you can find them easily. Don't worry that you won't be able to find them. So I'm going to click archive. And then it's going to say that it wants me to confirm I want to continue. And I do. You've just most likely moved a significant number of emails out of your inbox, so it may take just a little bit of time. And when you're done, you'll notice that you get a message that says no messages matched your search. You can broaden your search. That's because it's still pulling off this initial search that we have in there. If we remove that search or go back to our inbox, you'll see that the number of emails that I have has gone significantly down. I started at about 13,000 emails and now I'm down to 1,212 emails. To clear out a few more messages quickly, you can do this search. In colon inbox is unread. Now, if you have emails in your inbox from the last three months that you haven't read, then they most likely aren't that important. You can do a scan of these emails. You may have to sort through a few pages. I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to select all conversations that match this search and I'm going to archive them. Okay, now let me go back to my inbox. It will clear my filter. And it shows me that I'm down right now to a thousand emails in the past three months. Your number might be a lot less than what I have now. And remember, our goal is to get emails down to no more than 40. These messages that are in your inbox are going to require a little bit more effort to go through. 
Some can be archived, but some I might need to keep in my inbox. Remember, the items in your inbox should be reflected of what you need to do in the immediate future. If you have an email that reminds you of an event coming up in two weeks, put the event on your calendar and remove it from the email in your inbox. Once you complete a task that's in your inbox, archive it. So here's how I'm going to get through all of these emails quickly. Instead of going through and selecting them all at once, I'm going to go through and find only the emails that I want to keep. But before I do that, I need to make sure that I have a search filter that's going to help me. So in my search bar, I'm going to type in colon inbox is colon red. Now remember, the only emails that are in my inbox right now should be red emails because we got rid of all the unread ones. Now I'm going to hit enter and we're not going to have much of a change. At this point, I want to scan through and mark any email that I want to keep in my inbox as red. So for example, if I see a message I want to keep, I'm going to right click on it and mark it as unread. It's going to pull it out of my search and you'll see that my number over here increases. So I'm going to scan through page by page and only select the messages I want to keep. So I don't see anything else on this page I need. And then I'll just right click and mark as unread. And those pull out of my filter. So when I see things that I want to keep, click, right click, mark as unread, and it's out of my filter. I'll use these buttons up here at the top to move through all of my emails for the past three months. If I don't see anything on a page I want, I simply move to the next one. And I'll keep going through all of these pages Selecting messages I want to keep, I can select more than one on a page. Right click, mark as on red. And I'll keep going until I've gone through all of the emails for the past three months. When I'm done and I have, see my inbox unread count is going up. When I am done and I want to get rid of all the rest of these that I have not selected, I'm going to select all, select all conversations that match this search, and then click on archive. Click OK to confirm. And it may take a second because you're probably still moving a couple hundred emails. And now when I go back to my inbox, I will see all of the messages as unread that I want to keep. Now, at this point, this number here should be less than 40. If it's more than 40, you still have some more work to do. You've kept too many emails because I'm hoping that you don't have 40 important things that you have to do in the immediate future. So if it's going to require that you go through and do a little bit more work to clean those up, you can go through those one by one, put stuff on your calendar if it needs to go onto your calendar, or do the things that need to get done. Then, once you are happy with everything in your inbox, you can come back and mark these as red, and it will take all of that off. From here, you can view my other videos. They can help you set up priority inbox, filters and folders, and advanced searches to keep your email running efficiently and make it so that you can manage everything that you have to do.